These are the continuing detention hearings for the 323rd Judicial District Court for the state of Texas. <coughs> While the Texas Supreme Court has counseled that most hearings during this pandemic should be closed to the public, we are nonetheless broadcasting these hearings on YouTube as a matter of convenience to the public as in furtherance of the spirit of the open courts provision of the Texas Constitution. No one may rebroadcast or record any or part of these hearings. Violation of the court's order may subject you to civil and or criminal contempt proceedings. All right. Good afternoon, Jocelyn. I'm sorry about the mix up this morning. We had a problem with the computer system. Our Zoom crashed, so we had to let Zoom reset. <coughs> You're scheduled for a hearing, I believe, in front of me. Is it Thursday, Mr. Sierra? Is that correct, Ms. Aguirre? Yes, Your Honor, it is. Okay. <coughs> um. Yes, Your Honor, 8.30. Sorry. Okay. Uh, so... And you all, you have, Mr. Sierra, you have all the necessary reports to prepare for Thursday's hearing? Um, Your Honor, no. I mean, the last time I spoke to probation was uh, on March 18th. And the discussion was that there was a placement already in Texas, uh, already accepted her, but they were wanting to go to the one in Arizona. And we were going to wait a response from Arizona. That's pretty much where we left off. Okay. So <coughs> I guess for, to, for the purposes of today's hearing, do we have a placement to her, with her? I mean, uh, does, uh, do we have a commitment in what direction we're going? Because up to now, it's been kind of in limbo. I have not heard from the placement committee. Ms. Gary, do you have any update? I do, Your Honor. So we were looking into two placements, one in Texas, one in Arizona. However, after further review, um, the recommendation is going to be for a placement in Denison, Texas. We should have the placement summary no later than tomorrow. <coughs> All right. Okay. And will you be able to forward that information to Mr. Sierra as soon as you can? Absolutely. Awesome. All right. Well, Jocelyn, I will see you on Thursday and we'll see how things go then. All right. All right. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Jenny. Uh, <clears throat> Dacey, Dacian Robert Lewis Snyder. Yes, sir. You, Mr. Snyder. Yes, sir. Mr. Snyder, my name is Judge Porter. The law says when you're brought into detention and initially detained, you must see a judge every 10 business days thereafter. This is your 10-day hearing. You have the right to remain silent. You also have the right to an attorney. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, and your yeah. attorney, Ms. Uzuihe, is here. Do you see her on the screen? Yes, sir. All right. The court has previously found that probable cause exists to believe that you engaged in delinquent conduct sufficient to warrant your initial detention. <coughs> According to the police report, your TJJD parole E. And around March 5th, around 12.30 in the afternoon, Fort Worth PD received an activation on a stolen vehicle, Chevrolet Impala. Um, the owner of that vehicle identified you as being the same person who was seen driving that car away. Um, according to the information attached, uh, you had a, an indeterminate commitment to TJJD back in June of 2019 for burglary of a building. Other prior arrests include evading arrest or detention, unauthorized use of a motor vehicle, violation of court orders, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, for which you got supervisory cautioned, and another UUMV that was consolidated as part of a probation. <clears throat> All right. <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Snyder. Yes, sir. And you're level three confined. Well, I should have led with that. All right, Mr. Snyder. 
I'm going to order you continue to be detained. You can't behave in the back. You certainly can't behave on parole. Thank you, sir. Your Honor, may I say something, Your Honor? Yes, ma'am, you may. Thank you, Judge. Um, Your Honor, you know, I have had a conversation with my clients about this. Um, I'm kind of being a devil's advocate here. Um, so, you know, considering his level, um, uh, me being a lawyer, I know what that means uh, to the court and the consequences to him. But he wants me to ask the judge, ask the court if he can be released on a electronic monitor. And you know, that is what I'm asking on his behalf. But don't think that I don't know what the law is or what the uh, court policy is. But then, and again, I have to advocate for him. And I have to do that zealously also. Yes, ma'am. <coughs> and Ms. Uzuwehe, you are absolutely correct. Uh, the rules of disciplinary conduct for attorneys in the state of Texas do tell us that lawyers are supposed to zealously advocate for their clients within the parameters of civility. Um, and Mr. Snyder, you are very lucky to have an attorney who will do just that, who will fulfill her ethical obligations on your behalf. However, she she, you're giving her a hard road to hoe, okay? Yes, TJJ D parolee found in a stolen vehicle. Yes, sir. And you're level three combined. You're not giving your lawyer anything to work with. So based on that, I got to order you detained. Thank you, sir. All, All right. right. Thank next. You. Thank you, Arno. We'll see um, you next time. Sounds good, Ms. Weehe. Thank you. Amaya Lachetre. Sherelle, oh, Shell, that's awesome. That is a cool name. All right, Ms. Watson. <coughs> Mr. Victorson, has mom made it back yet? I don't believe so, Your Honor, but in the event that she's released, mom was pretty confident she could be up here uh, later today to pick her up. Okay, and does mom want her to come back home? I didn't ask that question. I assume that she did because she made herself available earlier before we lost the Zoom. Ms. Mills, what are your thoughts? Um, I've <coughs> spoken with Amaya. I know she's on level 1-0. Um, I have not spoken directly with mom. Amaya tells me that she has spoken with mom. Mom does want her back home. Um, and that's why she was planning on being here today, which I know she was this morning. So. I'm asking that Amaya be allowed to go home today. Okay, Amaya, I need you to promise me something. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm gonna release you. Mr. Victorson, does this need to be a release on the electronic monitor? Yeah, I don't see a history of running away, Your Honor. In fact, it might be detrimental for her to be, if things do go awry in the home, she might need an escape route. <laughs> well, let's not, not, not literally, but to get away from the situation. <laughs> well, Amaya, I need you to promise me yes, sir. that uh, you're going to help your mom in any way you can. Yes, sir. Because it's my understanding that she's pregnant and probably due pretty soon. So will you help your mom? She's yeah. going to need your help in the coming days. Okay. Try not to put any strain on her whatsoever. You got to be, you've been level 1-0 in the back. I need you to be level 1-0 plus for your mom. Will you do that for me? Yes, sir. Second thing. Will you keep in touch with Miss Mills? Yes, sir. Third thing. Will you come back to court when you're supposed to? Yes, sir. Okay. First thing is, you're going to be level 1-0 plus for mom, right? Yes, sir. Second thing was? Yeah, I'm going to talk, going to talk to her and I'm going to come to court. Yes, talk to Ms. Mills and come to court. All right. I'm going to authorize your release on the, um, Just I'll just authorize her release in general, Ms. Mills. I don't think <laughs> this is an electronic monitor situation. All right. Thanks, y'all. That'll Thank be the you. orders of the court. Thank you. <coughs> that concludes.